everyone. How's everyone doing? Good. All right. So I'm back here again, um, learning with you and hoping that I can pass a, a little bit of the message of what I learned um, by reading chapter three. And the, the first message that we have in chapter three is, uh, let not your hearts be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. There are many dwellings in my father's house. If it were not so, I would have told you. For I am going to prepare the place, and after I, ha I, have, I, gave, I have gone and have prepared the place for you, I will return and will take you with me, so that there, there where I am, you may be also. So um, this is by John chapter 14, verse 1 through 3. And so this is a message from, from Jesus, right? Um, consoling us, um, a very consoling message. So chapter on the gospel according to spiritism, is um, there are many dwellings in my father's house. And it's a very popular um, chapter, right? A, lot, a very popular um, concept in the spiritist doctrine. So I'm sure a lot of us have heard about it before. Um, but just wanted to start, you know, where exactly do, do we get this introduction of, of many dwellings and what exactly uh, the father's house mean and, and the dwellings, right, that, that Jesus is talking about here. So let's think about the Father's house as being the universe, right? And then the dwellings, the different worlds in this universe. And so then we start thinking, um, let's go back to the Spirit's book and get a little bit of the, the base, the foundation, right? So the reason why um, the Gospel is talking about this is because back, back in the Spirit's book, right, um, we learned from the Spirits that uh, in chapter 3 uh, that the different worlds, the globes that are spinning, and this is in question 55, um, chapter 3, Creation, the Plurality of Worlds. And um, chapter in question 55, they ask, uh, we ask, right, so Kardec asks, are all the globes spinning through space inhabited? And the spirits tell us, yes, and contrary to what you believe, you are definitely not the, the first intelligence, perfection, and uh, goodness, right? So there we already know that there are many, um, many worlds um, that are inhabited, so that there are different spirits inhabiting those worlds. And then, um, furthermore, into part two of the Spirit's book, we learned that um, in the, um, the actual, the part of t talking about the different orders of spirits, that we have uh, imperfect spirits, good spirits, and pure spirits. So there, we start to understand, right, that that's why Jesus is talking about those dwellings, because we, uh, we are all separated in different orders. And these orders are, are all based on the um, different um, orders of elevation, so how far we have progressed in our morality and intelligence, right? Um, and then a little bit even further more into the Spirit's book, we learn about incarnation of different worlds. So the Spirit's book gives us the base, right? We know that there are different worlds out there, there are different spirits everywhere in these worlds. And then um, in the Gospel, we receive this message, so Kardec and the, and the higher order spirits, they couple this very consoling message for us, um, letting us know that no matter what level of ev evolution we are, no matter whoever we are, wherever we are in the evolutionary progress, we are always at the Father's house. So think about it, how consoling that is for us um, that are, we obviously know, right, that we are in a, in a world that's not very um, evoluted, so we have um, five different orders of classification of, of worlds, and this chapter, the Gospel talks, us, talks to us about that, and that's the primitive worlds, the worlds of trial and expiation, regenerative worlds, and um, happy worlds, and heavenly or divine worlds. So we know that, you know, if, if you think about it, the primitive worlds are the, the most primitive ones, and then we are next. So knowing that even though um, we are still in this world that where there's a lot of, um, of, of hatred, right, and, and, and a lot of trials, a lot of expiations and hardships that we have to suffer, knowing that Jesus is there and he is preparing a place for us. And when we, when we think about this, you know, Jesus reassures us that he'll prepare a place for us. What does exactly, what does that mean? And then when we read further into the chapter, we learn that, um, that the world, the earth, um, <laughs> is going to be um, regenerating, uh, uh, changing, progressing, but it's all, all dependent on the spirits that are uh, within earth. So <coughs> even if we go back a little bit and we think about um, uh, humans, humankind, and, and the, 
the chapter also talks about this, right, in the, in the gospel. It talks about humankind. Humankind has different levels of, um, has a wide range of evolution. So um, we may have humans that are outside of, of Earth <coughs> that may be more evoluted or less evoluted, but Earth is more like a hospital. So Kardec gives us a little bit of an analogy. So let's think of Earth as being more like a hospital or a penitentiary. So that's why <coughs> we're undergoing so many trials, so many things that we have to go through is because we need to go through. Nobody that goes to a hospital goes there because they want to, right? <coughs> so that's why there's a reason why we're here and there's a reason why um, we're all together working towards uh, progress. Um, <coughs> the very cool, the very interesting thing that I really enjoyed um, in, the, in the chapter are the Spirit's teachings. And the Spirit's teachings, I would definitely recommend you guys to, to get it. I don't really have time to go in details, but there's a lot of, uh, or probably three messages here from St. Augustine. And um, they're very consoling, they're very beautiful, and they talk about how Earth will eventually become a regenerative world. <coughs> and a regenerative world, um, just to make sure you know, we are all clarifying on what it is, it's a, a world that is, um, still has the material things of Earth, but it's a world where um, love reigns, a world where people are closer to God. They, they, um, they're all, they're, it's somewhat of a happy, it's in between, right? The blissful worlds and the primitive worlds, but it's still a world that, that, um, that, that has love and that envy and hatred and pride, all of those things have suddenly, you know, have become less, have disappeared, and love and charity um, definitely uh, emanate from the hearts of, of all its uh, living beings there. So that is one, and again, just want to make sure that the message is clear that um, Earth will eventually progress, um, but it depends on, on us, right, making sure that we progress with it as well. And I'll leave you guys with a message from Emmanuel in the, in the book um, Caminho Verdade e Vida, so um, Path. Yep. Uh, <laughs> and I had to translate this myself, so uh, hopefully it, it still, you know, keeps the, the meaning, but... Um, it's on uh, message 30, the, w the world and the evil. I'm not going to talk about the whole message, just the very bottom of it. And I, I thought it was very beautiful and, and very uh, relevant to the topic. So he, uh, it's called the world and, and the evil, or I would say, you know, the earth and the evil. So he says, the earth in itself has always been good. From its mud sprouts lilies of, of uh, delicate smell. Its motherly nature is a rep repository of wonderful miracles that repeat themselves every day. There is no point in leaving the planet when our <laughs> evils have not been conveniently exterminated. In this case, we assimilate ourselves to the human carriers of incurable diseases. <coughs> we may move our residences. However, the change is almost nothing if the wounds come along with us. Therefore, it is essential to bring beauty to the world and improve it by combating the evil that is in us. So again, I think very beautiful message. The, I think the important thing is to make sure that we're improving ourselves so that we may all reach the rege regenerative world um, and be closer to Jesus like what he said here. He is preparing, <coughs> he's preparing a place for us, but we have to do our part as well. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>